In the past six weeks, I have been testing two very popular liquid fertilizer methods against each other. And in this video, we're going to find out which one is better and which one is cheaper. So I actually just realized today that it's been a full year since we started doing experiments with these two tanks. So in August last year, we started with CO2 versus no CO2. After that, we did that substrate experiment with aquasol versus dirt. After that, we did high budget versus low budget. It's probably still my favorite this day, I think. And we did tap water versus RO, which wasn't really a big difference. But if you didn't see any of those experiments, I just made a whole playlist with all experiments combined. You can binge watch that if you want. But yeah, we still hadn't done an experiment with liquid fertilizers. So for the past six weeks, I've been testing my preferred dosing method, which is the lean dosing method, against the very popular estimative index dosing method. And the reason I chose these two is because they're basically the opposite of each other. With the lean dosing method, you dose the bare minimum amount of liquid fertilizers. And with the estimative index method, you basically dose every single nutrient the plant needs in excess. So just like with the other experiments, both tanks are set up in the exact same way and have the same equipment. So both tanks are 20 liters or 5 gallons. They both have the same light. This is the Chihiros A2 series, which is now running on full power for 7 hours. They both have the same filter. I'm using an Oase Filto Smart 60. It's like a very small external canister filter. And they both have the same CO2 system as well. I'm using the uh, DOI system with yeast and sugar. You can see those two bottles down there. And inside the tank, everything is the same as well. So we have just a very simple hardscape with one big uh, Dragonstone. We have three kilos of Aquasol in both tanks. And to make this experiment a little bit more interesting, I've used a variety of plants, uh, both easy, medium and advanced category. So this is what I've been doing in the past six weeks. On this gram on the left, I've been using the lean dosing method. This is the method that I use on pretty much all my tanks, especially on new setups that have a nutrient-rich aquasol. So in this case, I just meant micronutrients as well as potassium. But this is from Mastline, but you can use any brand that you like. So in this case, it was every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, two pumps of potassium. And every Monday, just one pump of the micronutrients. That's it. And then on this aquarium, I've been using the estimated index method, which is the method where you dose nutrients in excess. And I've been doing that with these fertilizers. So these are actually fertilizers that I made myself. I got this DIY kit from Planted Box. So you basically just get a box full of powders that you have to mix yourself. And then you end up with a macro solution and a micro solution. And I've been dosing six milliliters of macro every Monday and six milliliters of micro every Tuesday. That's it. And then every Saturday, I'll do a big water change on both tanks to reset the nutrient levels. And on Monday, the cycle starts again. So going into this experiment, I basically had four questions that I was hoping to get an answer to. Firstly, because we're dosing more nutrients in the estimated index aquarium, I was curious to see how much faster the plants would actually grow. Because one of the reasons that I like the lean dosing method is because we're dosing minimal amount of liquid fertilizer, which also means that the plants grow slower, which means less maintenance for me, less trimming. So I was curious about that and also more nutrients usually means more algae as well. So I was curious to see how much more algae we would get in the estimated of index aquarium. The third thing I was curious about is the difference in plant colors. Because in the lean dosing method aquarium we have less nitrates. And usually less nitrates means better colors, especially for red plants. And the last question I had is which method is cheaper? And actually just did the math and the results were quite interesting, but we'll get to that later. Okay, enough chit chat, let's take a look at the results of this experiment. So I took a picture of both tanks pretty much every single day for the past six weeks and I turned it into a little compilation slash time lapse. So let's take a look at it right now. So now you can see a split screen with both tanks side by side. On the left side we have lean, on the right side we have estimated index. So this is day one and this is just after I trimmed the stems in the background. So that was kind of like a, a reset and a fresh start for this experiment. So we press play then we go to day two, day three, of course, you're not going to see much in only a few days. So let's go to day five, day six. Let's go to day seven, the first week. Okay, so after only one week, there's actually already quite a big difference between both tanks, especially if you look at the rock, the Dragonstone. In the lean dosing method aquarium, the rock is still clean. But in the estimated index aquarium, the rock is already starting to, starting to develop a little layer of green algae, but also the stem plants in the back. So after only one week, the, uh, the green stem plant on the right side has already grown quite a bit. You know, it's all, almost reaching the surface already. So after only one week, that's quite fast. But you'll see, you'll see this, this stem plant later. Let's press play again. So day eight, day nine, you can just see the stem plant exploding. Day 10, 
Yeah, day 12. Look at this damn plant, guys. That's the Merophyllum matricosense, and that's, yeah, a very fast grower in the estimated index aquarium, but it's not growing very fast at all in the lean dosing method aquarium. Yeah, on day 14, stem plants in the back were trimmed again. So I trimmed both tanks actually, but in the lean dosing of the aquarium, I just trimmed a few few long tips here and there. And in the estimated index aquarium, I trimmed all the green stem plants and a few tops of the uh, Rotala Valici. That's the stem plant in the center here. If you press play again, you go to day 15, day 17. If you pause here for a second, and we look at that Rotale Wallici, so that stem plant in the center. You can actually see that it's a bit taller in the lean dosing method aquarium. And it's a little bit more colorful as well, it seems, but it could be just uh, the camera ISO, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's just a small difference. Actually, actually not a plant in the center. You can see on the right side, this is the Higophila Lancea Araguaya. Yeah, so this is foreground red plant. You can't really see it on the left side, on the left aquarium, but it's definitely growing much faster on the right side as well. Let's go to day 21. So you can see only one week after I trimmed that, that green stem plant in the back, it's already starting to come back already. Day 23, day 26. So between day 26 and day 24, I forgot to take any pictures, but on day 34, I did the second trimming session basically. So that's why I trimmed the green stem plant in the right side for the second time. And I also trimmed all of the Rotala Valici. Yeah, I think there's only one picture left from day 38. So yeah, that's, I think day 38 was four days ago. So let's take a look at how the aquariums are looking right now. Okay, let's take a look at the lean dosing method aquarium first. This one is looking very, very good. I haven't really trimmed the carpet in the past six weeks and I think it's definitely time right now. It's going quite dense and a bit tall as well. Um, also the Rotala bonsai, this, this plant right here is growing very tall, not really bonsai anymore. And then yeah, the green stem plant here behind the rock, that's the Mirifilum matagrosense that I trimmed twice already in the other aquarium and not once on this side. That's quite a big difference. Mm, Rotala, sorry, Ludwigia super red. It's looking very red here, very nice color. And the Rotala Valici, that's the red, orange, pink plant on that side. It's looking very good. Really bounced back fast after the trimming session. And the plants that haven't really done so well here is the Sterogynes repens. That's this plant here, the leafy plant. As you can see, it's a little bit leggy. The, some of the leaves are just not really looking good. It has kind of lost a lot of leaves as well that kept floating to the surface and getting, keep getting stuck on the intake from the filter. So that plant didn't do very well. And also this plant here in front, the red one, that's the Hygrophila lancea araguaya. Hasn't really grown much in the past six weeks. Then the estimated index aquarium. This one is looking a little bit different. Uh, we have a dense carpet here as well. And the only difference here is I would say that the uh, Marcellea canata, that's, that's the clover looking type plant, stayed much shorter here. I think in general, the plants in this aquarium stayed much more compact compared to the lean dosing aquarium, which is quite surprising. I actually thought it would be the other way around. So you can see here also the Rotala bonsai. 
it's much shorter it's more compact as well same thing in that corner same thing with the s weapons by the way as you can see it's looking much better here much more spread out much more compact leaves are looking super healthy also this plant hygrophila araguaya much more it has just grown much more it's much more red the tweak has super red not as colorful as in the lean dosing method aquarium i think that's a difference and yeah actually the uh, rotala balici hasn't really grown back so fast from the trimming session you see you can see here that it's only just starting to come back and here it's just looking much much better already that's quite surprising actually and then yeah the uh, green stem line in the back is growing yeah back fast as usual almost ready for the third trimming session i guess so just to come back to those four questions again uh, did the plants grow faster it's actually not really a yes or no i mean some plants did grow faster in the estimated index aquarium but overall i think they stayed more compact which was quite surprising then question number two did we get more algae yeah i mean the estimated index aquarium definitely got my algae was definitely harder to maintain more algae on the glass more algae on the hardscape and more algae on the plants as well only green algae though so some green dust and some green spot algae then question number three any difference in colors so I think in the estimated index aquarium, the green stem plant, the Mirophila Mata Grossensa, is looking a little bit more green. In the lean dosing method aquarium, it's a bit more yellowish. But then again, in the lean dosing method aquarium, the Ludwigia Super Red is more vibrant red compared to the estimated index aquarium. So I guess both things win there. And of course, the last question, which method is cheaper? So let's take a look at it right now. So this estimated index kit from Planter Box is 30 euros. Now I made one stock solution of each. So we have... Uh, macro micro now you can see after six weeks i've barely used anything so there's one liter in each and i checked and with all the ingredients that are still in here i can actually make four more stock solutions before i will run out of potassium nitrate so in total i can actually make five liter of this stock solution which is a lot the recommended recommended dose is 30 milliliters per 100 liters so if you calculate that you can actually this should actually last you 166 weeks. So that's like just over three years, I think. So that comes down to um, this fertilizer costs you 18 cents per week. Remember that, 18 cents per week. Okay, moving on to the lean dosing method. For that, we need the mass line micro and the mass line potassium. So we're going to scale this to five liters as well because we have five liters of this stock solution. So luckily we can buy the micro in bulk as well. So five liters of this is 62 euros. Now, unfortunately the potassium you cannot buy in bulk or at least not in five liters. You can only buy them in one liter bottles. So five liters of this will cost you 109 euros and 50 cents. It's a bit more expensive already. <laughs> so the recommended dose of this was 30 milliliters per 100 liters. So if I would use this per 100 liters, it's 10 milliliters of micro and 30 milliliters of potassium. So you can already see that it's going to be quite expensive. So after all the math, um, just the micro will cost you 12 cents per week and the potassium will cost you 65 cents per week, which then ends up to a total of 77 cents per week for the lean dosing method versus, uh, what was it, 18 cents per week for the estimated index method. It's quite a big difference. Of course, that's just all numbers on a laptop, laptop screen or on a piece of paper. I think in the real world, I would never use the lean dosing method for an entire year. I would always, you know, at some point the substrate gets depleted and I would switch to a bit more nitrate, a bit more phosph phosphate. Same thing with this, you know, these are stock solutions, but I don't know how long you can keep this. I actually noticed that the micro solution here already has a little bit of mold, so I'm not sure if it's has any effect on the effectiveness of the fertilizer but yeah it's just numbers on a piece of paper right so i think that's it i think that is the end of the experiment am i going to change my fertilizer routine after this probably not i'm probably still going to stick with the lean dosing method and just observe plants you know just observe your plants if you see that if you see that they are struggling just add in a little bit more micronutrients and if you're starting to see a lot of green algae maybe just reduce your liquid fertilizer a little bit yeah i think that's the end of the experiment now we just need to find a new experiment so if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.